Hello scholars, welcome back to the Kemet Masai Academy. We are continuing our series of motivational videos for students. As usual, I'm reading from the student's master plan. Hardcore rules for a lifetime of success. The topic that I'm looking at now is cultivate a mind that focuses. I have been told and I have no reason to doubt that different people learn in different ways. It makes sense to me, though I have no empirical proof. It's fair enough. So I have tried to present my lessons in as many varied ways as possible. Just in case one method is lost on a student, he may be retrieved with another. So, one of the things I like to do for some of my classes, for example, biology or mathematics, is to occasionally begin the lesson with a video presentation lasting anywhere from half an hour to an hour. The reactions from my students over the years have been classic. Most of them cannot sustain focus on an academic video presentation for more than 10 minutes. After that, the yawns, fidgeting, gossip, complaints, and general inertia set in. What this shows me is not a lack of ability, but rather a lack of practice. Our children can sustain focus on music videos, cartoons, and anything trivial and trashy. This is what we have made them accustomed to doing. So after years of practice, they do it with ease. So the moral of the story, expose our children from as early as possible, from they can be propped up with a pillow to sit quietly and watch educational videos, even if they cannot yet speak or understand, in quotation. They will still retain and gradually process, and years from now, the long dormant seeds will begin to grow. I ignore the complaints and try my best to quiet the fussing that tries to persist because I understand the, the, the deficiency and I'm in the process of supplying enough nutrient to cure the ailment. The inability to focus on serious academic material is an acquired disease. It can be cured and needs to be cured because we are preparing serious-minded people. This is a very critical problem. It's a very critical problem. And it's something that I have challenged in the classroom and something that I'm now challenging on YouTube. And I'll explain each one to you. In the classroom, as the passage mentioned, uh, when I decided to expand my school to include other people's children, because my, my school started just as a home school for my own biological children. And as part of their education, we made sure that they watched educational videos, science videos, mathematics, history, very important. Um, interviews, documentaries about great achievers, documentaries about world history, African history, because it's very important that they learned about their history and about the accomplishments of their people and saw representation of themselves in history and contemporary representation of greatness. And so when I decided to extend the school to, to include others, 
it was very crucial for me to include as part of the whole package of the lessons videos tip, um, similar to what I had exposed my own children to and which I know was integral to their overall success in academics and otherwise. And so, you know, I structured, I made time within the, the, the schedule for maybe a one hour video, science video, a maths video and so on. And I noticed that because I was teaching students from six to adults, different um, classes, right? Different hours. But generally, from 6 all the way to 60. <laughs> um, and I found that whichever group I, expo I asked to watch the video, after about 10 minutes or so, they started um, fidgeting and they started yawning and they were distracted. You know, it's like they just, they just could not sit still and focus. But I know that when they're watching music videos, when they're watching video games, they're playing video games, when they're doing something that was not of an academic nature, they were able to focus on it. And so I knew that this was, it, it had to do with exposure. It had to do with practice. You know, they were just not accustomed to sitting down to watch something academic. And so I, I, I decided that this was very crucial for me to develop in my students that ability to sit yourself down and focus on something serious. You should, I tell my students, you should be able to sit for an hour, for two hours, for three hours even, and focus. Focus on something academic. Focus on some science. Watch an interview. Watch a one-hour interview. Watch a two-hour interview. Watch a two-hour math video. Sit and watch. Watch a three-hour movie. Because then you're going to be writing a review on it. And I want, to, I want you to, to, to tell me everything that happened. I, you know, I... Um, Recently, too, we were watching a movie because movies are part of our I structure movie watching at least once per week during class time. And so we were watching a movie, but this happened during the lockdown, so it was online classes, right? So they weren't there in the classroom where I could see that they're watching the video. So it was online, and I was playing the movie, um, sharing the screen, playing the movie, so... When you're sharing the screen, you can't see everybody who is in the class online. So some of them, I realized that those off, you know, lost interest, were distracted. And so I said, okay, now you're going to write a review of the movie. So you have, so even if they didn't watch it during the class, they would have to go now to watch it, to, um, to write the review. And what a couple of them did they just googled the name of the movie and they wrote out <laughs> they wrote out the, the Wikipedia um, synopsis of the movie, thinking that I would I wouldn't realize. So this included a lot of irrelevant information. I I just wanted a review of the movie itself, not necessarily the directors and blah blah blah. All of these things that they just copied from the internet source and, and gave it back to me and I, I said listen take this back take it away go and watch the movie and write the review and I need to see the important points I need to, to see the development of the movie I need to see from the start to the, the crucial moments and the ending so I was not going to allow them to cop out of it because this is a skill that I want them to develop. And you know why? When I came on, when I became a YouTuber, um, I was doing, before I launched my channels, and I have to date, four channels that I'm seriously 
working on and another three that I have not yet developed, right? So I was doing research to see, you know, what are YouTubers saying? What are the pros and cons? What are the do's and don'ts? And almost everybody was giving the advice that don't make your videos more than three or five minutes because nobody's going to stay tuned longer than that. Nobody's going to want to pay attention to what you're saying because the attention span, and these are adults they're talking about now. They're saying the attention span of the average adult is three to five minutes. And I'm saying, listen up. I'm not going to make my videos three to five minutes. My videos are going to be as long as they need to be to get across whichever point I'm making. I'm not going to cater to attention deficit adults. So the ones who can only focus for three to five minutes are not the ones I'm reaching out to. They are not my scholars, right? My scholars are you guys who are still listening to me right now. That's my crew. That's my tribe. I'm not going to fall to the level of the ones who can only stay tuned for three to five minutes and then they zone out. But then they can focus for half an hour on gossip, on sensational stuff, on, on so-called celebrity drama. They can stay tuned to that, but you're telling me you can't sit and watch a mathematics video for 15 minutes. You can't watch an interview for half an hour with someone who has achieved greatness. You don't want to find out how. I'm not catering to those individuals. I'm catering to you. You who are still here listening to me. You're my kind of people. Okay? You have train yourself and develop that ability to focus and that's an excellent quality to have and you're the one who is going to make it to the top legitimately rise to the top and if you have been motivated by this video please share it with other students parents teachers who might um, be motivated as well please subscribe to the Kemet Masai Academy and remember we don't just have motivational videos for students. I remember students are from zero to a hundred or beyond. We are all students of life and students for life. But we don't just have motivational videos for students. We have mathematics videos with, from every topic from grade four to grade 11. And this is something you should definitely take advantage of. Share it with other students, your friends, your classmates, your siblings, your cousins. Particularly those who you know are struggling with maths and you know they could, they could use that help, they could use that boost. Please share those videos with them. So thank you for staying focused. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.